Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Good to have you with us for the six. Start out with a real cool shot on our physical therapy cam. First of all, see the uh, sun reflecting on the west side of the buildings as it's getting ready to set. Now, this is from our tower cam, about 250 feet above us right now. So this is about a five-mile shot. City skyline, bay, peninsula, lake, and yes, Canada. That is a clear atmosphere. And here's another beauty. Thanks to my buddy Jim Gavio up at Barron, who runs the Yawn Planetarium there. This is right near Barron, off the Bayfront Parkway. Look at that yesterday. Perfect, full rainbow in the lake effect kind of clouds and showery atmosphere. Thanks so much, colleague, for that. Satellite picture indicates fading clouds. The thick stuff's over New England. The stuff that's been over our area is starting to break up and go away because the showers have gone away as well. They're back up here. We're getting clearing skies, moonlit conditions for tonight, and just seasonably cool October weather. Anyway, you cut it. Uh, 61 is what we got to today. Our normal is 62. Now, we're a little warmer than normal to start because of all the cloud cover this morning and a trace of precip, but we're going to be down close to 50 in Erie for a low tonight and the rest of you, 40s and even some 30s. So a trace of precip, pretty close to normal for the month, still about three inches below normal rainfall-wise for the year. We'll continue to track that, but no big shakes. But that daylight losing about two to three minutes a day, so we're down to uh, 10 hours, 52 minutes. So air quality index good around the area today. Nicer weather tomorrow. Great weather Wednesday, still dry. And, and that's going to be your warmest day, up near 70 on Wednesday. So uh, right now, Doc Tom Miller, Niagara Pier at 56. Keith and McCain, the same number. Over in French Creek, Becky has 54. And as you slide down I-79, uh, 54 from Fred and Sue, Canadota Lake, 56 in Meadville from Patty. Warren Fire Department at 53, 52 Kirk and Pittsfield. So you got that kind of fallish feel to the air. There's your inclement weather finally moving to the east over New England. There's your sunshine to the west. And your temperatures, you note this warming trend in the current readings to the south and west. And you can see it in the 24-hour temperature range. Uh, the cool stuff, the minuses moving that way, the warmer air moving this way. And uh, you can see the dew points are very comfortable, not even in the chart here. So no worries about steamy heat uh, until further notice. We've got fairly clear skies across the area taking over tonight. For tomorrow, we just do it all over again, but with sunshine and no precipitation. Tomorrow night and Wednesday is your bonus day. And uh, then you can see the showers that will probably creep in here late Wednesday night and into Thursday. But Thursday will still be on the mild side. Jet pinpoint for the lake shore tonight, looking at lows near 50, moonlit and seasonable. South of 90, southern Erie, Crawford, Mercer, Venango. It's chilly, maybe a little fog as well, 38 to 43 by morning. And of course, even chillier in the mountains, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest and McKean, fog late, mainly starlit. 36 to 40 degrees. Nice one tomorrow. Uh, sunshine and temperatures 64 to 67. Wednesday, there's your 70. Thursday, Friday, showers come back in, temperatures fall. Kind of a split weekend deal, probably like last weekend with the better weather on Sunday, lasting into Monday, but temperatures in the 50s for highs through that period. Check it all out, as well as the detailed forecast and our beautiful weather cameras on the weather page at your eerie.com. All right, thank you, Tom. All right. Up next, Monument.